The Brady Arts District Business Association will officially operate under a new name. The, the association unexpectedly voted for the change tonight. News on 6's Taylor Newcomb is live in the downtown district with more. Taylor? Craig, the new name is the Tulsa Arts District Business Association. There was a music festival going on just across the street at the Guthrie Green, so I popped outside just to talk to a few people to see how they felt about it. The Guthrie Green is a hub for art and music festivals. That's one of the reasons people downtown tonight were celebrating the Business Association's name change. What was once the Brady District will now be the Tulsa Arts District. The Tulsa Arts District, I think uh, that makes the most sense. The district was named after Tate Brady, who was a member of the Ku Klux Klan. The Business Association made moves to rename the district after it voted in August to select a name that reflects the inclusive and diverse spirit of the district. It's an idea that the the people we talk to are on board with. I love it. I think it's great. It's um, it doesn't just leave anything out. Hey, I understand it and I agree with it because you know they're tearing down Confederate statues across America. I understand the whole wanting to break ties with the KKK. Obviously, regardless, Groffalo says the original name will always hold meaning for him. I'll personally remember as the Brady because that's how I grew up with it. A poll we ran on the News on 6 Facebook page shows that not everybody is happy about it, though. 85% of people actually said they were against it. Reporting live on the scene on the story in downtown Tulsa, Taylor Newcomb, News on 6.